live streaming people. Hello everybody on YouTube and welcome back to the long haul. Episode 7. We'll be facing down day 7 horror night tonight. Shouldn't be too bad but overnight I did a little bit of finishing up on the base. Uh, on the horror base at least. And I was thinking to myself how am I going to get up into the main actual base and I actually did this. In case you are not familiar with this or you do not know the it's uh, or you never even heard of it. This is the hatch elevator. Place a whole bunch of hatches. And it's like it, it uses a glitch for, and uh, let me show you. There's a hatch on the bottom, and then there's hatches going all the way up to the base floor of it, and then you leave this hatch open for where you want to go up. So close the hatch, and then voila! It is a little bit of a. You get a little forge, uh, well, you actually get a nice little bit, you actually get a little bit of a, uh, you get a nice, easy little elevator, it is a, it's not the most elegant such. Oh, hello! Got a, got a Twitch viewer already. Welcome. And, uh, don't mind me, just uh, resetting up my... Twitch, uh, well, my, not my Twitch, but, uh, resetting up my little hatch elevator. I hope you just saw it there, uh, Twitch viewer, but, uh, I was just showing it for YouTube. Have hatches, like this, and then I'll just, I'll just demonstrate it for you real quick. You close this hatch, there you go. You have a nice, easy little Twitch, uh, uh excuse, sorry. I'm, uh... I'm a little, I'm stumbling over my words here, but I do have a, you have a nice, easy little elevator. It is simple and effective. Kind of what I'm, I haven't seen uh, many people use it on, uh, in like, you know, on like YouTube and it's like, uh, I don't know if it's too well known anymore. I figured, shed some light to it. Um, iron fire axe. I have been making, I've been working on some, a hunting knife uh, and a, a fire axe uh, and an extra pickaxe and a shovel. Figured, tool smithing level is uh, looking pretty good. Yeah, I'd say this uh, base here, this word base, is ready for, uh, ready for, uh, horde night. Very simple little design, but I like simple for the first Horde Knight. I'm very confident in it. Um, there we go, grab some iron. Thinking later, like while waiting up to the Horde, uh, I want to start doing some stuff, uh, like build a base. Let's just see where... I'm thinking about going down to the south end here for those of you on YouTube that Yo, I wanna go look uh go look at some you know, bases, some places or and all that. Or I was actually thinking to myself just now. I got the Brother Theater. I went and looted it in my um co op series with Fangs if it's like if you haven't seen that series I do recommend you check it out on my YouTube channel. Um, but this is the Brother Theater. And I believe it's the same one I'm thinking of. Just gotta come around front here, which the fences look like it. Yeah. It is the Brother Theater. This place is really cool. Like, I showed it off, but I figured it's so cool, I, I want to take another look at it. It's a really fun little place here, so break in. I don't have a uh, helmet light, but hopefully it is not too dark. Hello, sweetie. How we doing? Coming out from behind the bar to s greet me. What hospitality. Thank you for greeting me. <laughs> you got your sister with. <laughs> Level up. Uh, it's level, level 35 and 25 skill points to spend. Hello, Psycho Steve. How are we doing, big guy? Thank you. Um, hello, Nurse Nancy. And... 
Goodbye. Anyways, aside from that zombie fighting, check this place out. I didn't go into it fully because I think I was running a little low on time, but uh, the other day, but got a nice working, uh, well, got a nice vending machine here, so if I have some dukes, I can make some money with it and have that fun. We got the bathrooms here. Apologies if it's a little dark. I try to keep the game boosted up, uh, but not to where it's all uh, kind of washed out and all this. I like to try to keep it somewhat balanced. And here we go. I'm checking out the sink and cabinet in here. The toilet. More murky water. Not going to drink that, though. Surprised that is actually blocking me. Well, good to know that it actually registers as a block in this world. And got some beers, which is good for running. I know it's a little ironic, but oh well, I digress. Uh, scrap the cooking pot and cans. There we go. Need some. Was needing some water. Was a little thirsty. Just uh, down that really quick. And there we go. Water is sorted out for the time being. Hey, you got a nice, beautiful stage here. It's really cool. Uh, despite the limited shapes on this version, I'm really impressed with the uh, with the with the amount that they've done with the Brother Theater in here. Come here, you. Of course, got the private lounge, which I'll actually take the leather couches here. And there is the last little bit of that, and it's got a suitcase. Trust me, if I could light this up, I would do so with my mining helmet. I don't have one yet, so I would definitely be getting on it. Oh, uh, got the kitchen here. Anything good in here? No, oh, more cooking pot. And nothing in the fridge. More iron and jars, and that's really about it for the kitchen. Really not much in there. More iron pipes and beverage coolers, you got anything? More beer, I'll take it. Even more leather couches. But, um, before chopping all those up, I'll do that, uh, once I'm uh, done touring the place here, but... Got a gun safe up here. This is the, like, the manager's office. Got some clothes in there, but... Eh. It's like, it's a nice little... It's a nice little place to... View, uh, well... To loot, it's like... If I had the, uh, had the... If I had the actual, I would actually restore this place if I had the the resources to. This would be like a really cool place, like in a, I'd say in like a multiplayer server. Although this is a single player long term playthrough. But, anyways, so uh, YouTube, there is one last little section here that is the, I would say is like the ticket office. He got a dust safe in here and couple cabinets. So, not much really in... Some decent loot if you had the, the time and then everything to... to break into the safe, but... I'm gonna break into the safe and hopefully uh, we get some good loot out of this in the gun safe. Alrighty, let's see what's in the, in the safe here, YouTube. Got shotgun parts and stock, sawed-off barrel and a pistol barrel and parts, and then hunting rifle thing, uh, one of the parts of the hunting rifle barrel. My apologies. Actually, toss that turd out. Not gonna farm just yet. And then, because I don't really care about the shotgun, well, sawed-off shotgun in particular. Just gonna scrap that and actually bring that shovel down here. Dust safe. 
eh, decent hunting rifle stock, so not uh, not too bad loot at all. But YouTube, I'm gonna axe all these uh, couches up, and then I'm going to go over to the trader. Actually, third, might as well go over and meet him. We'll find more traders over the journey, and with or without the help of the quest. Anyways, see you at the trader. Alrighty, everybody, uh, coming up to Trader, and we're in the snow biome. Uh, coming up to Trader Rect, actually. You can tell by the compound. I haven't seen Trader Rect uh, for a while. There's our quest complete for White River Cell Citizen. Let's just uh, come on in and say hello to Trader Rect. Well, let's not be rude and break the door in. There we go. Hello, Trader Rect. How we doing? Um, Let me guess. You need to buy something. And sell something. So just start selling off leather. This will do me good for making XP and you know, get some increases on prices. I always sell this off for like this just to, in the beginning, just so I can just so I can make a good amount of. Uh, leveling. Oh. Already up to level 6 on all this, so. It'll also help me. Maybe we'll get to like 1300 bucks just off the leather. Okay. And. There we go. There is uh, all the leather sold for us, and then mini bike wheels. We'll just sell, th and then we're also selling puffer coats. So, voila! There we go. We are up to twenty hundred dukes. Let's just check out his inventory. Um, some decent parts and everything like that. Decent armor. Don't really need. Schematics I already have. More schematics I already got. And we already got. I mean, not really much in here that I can buy. I'll check out his resources at least. 10 for 62 on the, on the gunpowder. Wouldn't be too bad. You know what? Direct, you got yourself a deal. There we go. Damn goods and that's all you buy? I know I can make gunpowder easily, especially with a chemistry station, everybody, but I can I can spare uh, some dukes for it. I'm not, you know, I like trying to save up money, but oh, what'd you know? Bolt casings. But uh, that's a uh, but hey, it helps me out with making extra ammunition, so... Um, let's just check out this other trader, uh, this uh, tree stuff, not trader. Uh, nothing in there. These tree stuffs can usually have good stuff. Come here, lumberjack. No, you want to have a word with me. Come on. There you go, big guy. Psycho Steve, hello. Come on over. I know you love the uh, the club, and there you go. Oh, extra gunpowder, thank you. It's like, considering I want to start making lots of nine millimeter, that would be a good little. It's gonna be good. So, honey, um, some ski goggles, big lumberjack, a couple lumberjacks. Okay. Come on. We'll actually give you a nice crossbow bolt. Tell you what, you even get a crossbow bolt. Well, if my aiming wasn't... Come here. I give out crossbow bolts to everybody. There we go. Shades, um, don't know if I really want those. Coveralls don't really care for those either, so... 
I actually don't have a, anything for eyewear, so... Yeah, I'll actually take those, so... Let's grab those shades uh, up for iron. Every little bit helps. Shotgun parts. Take those. Do for emerging later, but... We're also coming up on midday, and I think it should be a an airdrop day, so... I'll just give her a couple seconds here. It spawns in about... Usually the plane flies over about 12.05. Yes, there we go. There's that plane. Yeah, it's up to the north a little bit. Those of you on YouTube, I'm gonna go uh, run up to the north here for the... Uh, airdrop and I will meet you there. Okay, YouTube, come up on the airdrop now. Wasn't too long of a, a walk up here or a sprint. Let's see what we got. Hey! Nice barrel and, and a flashlight and we got some medical stuff for the good old... Uh, so, help us survive. Just gonna avoid the lumberjacks and... Uh, I'll meet you who, on uh, those of you on YouTube at base. All right, YouTube. I'm back to uh, the Crackbook base. It got a got a deer here. There we go. Already hit him. Um, did some hunting on the way over. Oh, that is a nice hip fire shot. That is wonderful. Awesome. Come on, don't be like that. Yeah, I was just wanting to hunt some animals for, uh, for meat and leather. So. But, but yeah, now back at home, uh, I'm actually wanting to do some little miscellaneous base building on the uh, side before uh, Horde Night, you know, just try to get my construction tools up some more, so. Let me grab some resources, and I will be uh, back with you shortly at the, uh, the the building site. Okay, YouTube, I'm actually where I want to break down the, uh, well, break ground on the new base. So, what I'm wanting to do is, it's going to be a little interesting. I want to do, like, I want to have, like, an overhang eventually, like, uh, so I'll have, like, a center column in the middle of the road here, so, but, yeah, it'd be a cool thing I want to do, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna start digging out the, uh, digging out the found, the foundation here, so, give me a, and I'm gonna do that till horde base time, and I'll show you the progress on that. Alrighty, YouTube, it is almost Horde Night, Day 7. I can't get quite a good view of the Blood Red Sky, but we are just a couple minutes off, so. And 58, 59. There we go, Horde Night. Let's see how we do. Oh, I left the hatch open, so... Oh, that, that's off to a great start, so we'll just actually... We'll actually just... We'll actually just... Actually just close up the hatch here, so... There we go. <laughs> oh boy. I want to just get right back up in here, so... Alrighty. Start fighting. Pretty good for a blunderbuss base, so... Okay, you please get out. Also got the SMG for defense, so... Okay. Boom. You level up shotguns. Come here, guys. Level up 38. Yeah, this is actually pretty good for 
Wonder bus base. Does a nice little bit of damage. Chris, boom. Bob. Oh yeah, we'll be leveling up shotguns pretty quick. Ow. Darn you. Oh. Charlie, come on over. I want to have a word with you. Ooh. Took his leg off. And... There we go. There. It'll be slowly trickling in. Hopefully they don't get, uh... Stuck on the rocks. That's the last thing I want. I can see Curly come in. Come here, big boy. I know you. Someone's over here. Oh, that's Charlie. <laughs> forgot about you. I forgot that I blew your leg off. Bye, Curly. And. I'm trying to hit his head, so. There we go. Good boy, Charlie. Thank you. I take uh, any contributions of loot, so. Not from zombies. And there we go. Everybody gets a little bit. You're done. Chris. Why are you. He's playing Ring Around the Rosie with me. There you go. Another level up. Might have to clear out some of the rocks if I'm going to continue using this base, but. Nancy is gone. Oh boy. Exciting stuff. Marla, please. And you are done. And come here, Mikey. Pick up his loot before he despawns. Oh. A little tame. There's Bob. Hit him with the crossbow. He's getting... he's just spinning. I really hope they're not stuck on a rock. Because that is the one thing I would hope they would not do. Like, the zombies always manage to get stuck somewhere. Oh. Um... Chris, you want some SMG? There you go, buddy. Happy to oblige you. Or they might be stuck on the crack of us. Penny's gone. I can see a crawler through the reeds. Oh boy. Try and hit him, at least. Crawler is slow. Come here, big guy. Come on. I know you want to come over. Oh, try to not to miss him. Stubborn old brat. Oh. Come here. I know you want to come over. Ooh. Did I pop his head? Oh no. Um. Anybody else? Oh, there's a crawler. Uh, think about after eliminating this crawler. Well, I could see Mikey coming over, so. Come here. You don't get to hit me just yet. Come here. There you go, Mikey. Enjoy. What? How'd they stumble? Tell me they're not on my crack book base. Oh. I would have showed you the, the the beginnings of the other base, but... Guys, but, uh... Oh, I was a little bit focused on getting started on the other horror. He'll start on a uh, horror night. Bob? No. Bob, Bob gets to turn into a crawler. 
Come here, Bob. He's gonna, he's gone. Um, come here, crawler. There you go. And search you up at least. Scavenging a little twenty. Oh, come here, Chris. Come on over here. No. There you go. Chris gets to become a pile of mess. Oh, a mess. A pile, so. Um, okay. We'll just hop out here, so. I got the SMG and the blunderbuss, so I'm not too worried about the zombies at the moment. Okay, let's just go check. See if they're hiding behind the rock. Zombies, are you hiding behind the rock here? No? Usually if you have a base with these kinds of rocks nearby, they... They start, uh, beating on rocks. Oh no. Chris, no. I'll go check uh, at the crack of book just to see where they're hiding at. Check in over here just to see what they're doing. Psycho Steve. I can hear one of them run around. Or they might be st stuck in Scrapper. Psycho Steve, no. They're level up. Oh yeah, they're all over here. Eh, start putting them out of their misery. I was like, shouldn't be that the end of just yet, but oh well. Um, crawlers coming over. Like I will help the, I will help uh, the zombies out. At least give them a little bit of help. So, crawler. These guys usually take a, a shot from my the blunderbuss. There you go. Now you're taken care of. And Marla's uh, getting helped out. Bob's having a good time. Bob, really? You know better. Oh, they. I'm gonna continue using the space. I need to clear out the scrapyard. There you go. Help them all out. They're just a little confused. There, Bob. And... Just keep an eye out for other zombies hanging out here, so. Okay. Mikey, come on. <laughs> there we go, a couple more spawn in, so. I'll at least use the SMG a little bit. And you guys really have trouble, really have trouble getting over here, don't you? Um, uh, there's a couple zombies spinning, so come here. Mikey, Marla, come on. There you go. And Crawler fidget spinner, we don't need you. Okay. Curly's wanna have a word with me. Zombies always thwart my plans somehow, so. Ow, come on, Curly. Oh boy, I'm bleeding. Well, at least I got a medkit. There we go. Sometimes these guys just start walking for a second, and then they start... These zombies are unusual. There's even some in the bank! Come on, guys, like... 
wanted to use the horde base, but... Oh, well, I digress. Come here. I help cure you. There you go. And... You're just spinning. Not gonna help you get out of your little problem? No, it's not. There we go. Try to get him out. That's the nice thing about the blunderbuss. At least it doesn't take too much. There you go, Bob. Oh, Mikey! Hello, hello! You heard about the blunderbuss program. There we go. Okay. Marla, good to see you. Wait a minute, I think... I was thinking some of them are stuck in the vault. <laughs> oh boy. Mikey, <laughs> and... Well, at least I helped Mikey out a little bit. These guys really just... Mikey, come... You know better, buddy. If anything, I'll be clearing out the... Clearing out the... the windows with the water bus, because it... All the pellets on this thing. Help Bob out. Sorry, Bob, can't get you alone. And out. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Uh, probably best to get out of the blank. Uh, the bank, not the blank. The blank bank. And one of you is done. There we go. At least uh, clear them out a little bit. A little unfortunate, but... Call her, the door's unlocked, come on. And you're done. Looks like got a burning. And... Yeah, he's having a hard time. There we go. Shotgun level up. Uh, where are the rest of these zombies at? I have no clue where they're at, but... <laughs> Hell, they're kind of hiding in the drive-thru. <laughs> Help Bob out, at least. Oh, come on, guys. There you go, you're dead. I'll give him the SMG a little bit. At least uh, try and help him a little bit. Okay. There we go, Charlie. Curly is done. Come here, Charlie. Ah, lovely stuff. Stop hitting on the car. I don't need you blowing that up. Wow. Crap accuracy. Um... There we go. Marla's done. Sir, the door's not locked. There you go. This is why I am so excited for the new console version to come out, because then these guys will actually come to me and not, and be somewhat smart. There we go. Only 20 minutes left in Horror Night, but... Got to do some zombie killing. Mikey! Okay. Bob? No. Give him a little bit of stunning with the blunderbuss. 
There you go, Bob. Mikey, 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 come on and run in. There you go. Shotgun's level 30. Do I really gotta check the bathrooms for you guys? Level up. The Horde Knight's about over. Oh. Where are you guys at? Like, no, seriously, where are you guys at? Yeah, that that's Horde Knight, though, guys. Um, let's see if we can at least find the last little bit of zombies. Um... Oh boy. I think one of them might be stuck in the vault. I can hear them, but... I can't find them, so... Is there a ladder on the roof? Did you guys really get stuck on the roof? Oh my... Guys, come on. Oh, let's just take care of you, and now... Come on, Bob. Quit, quit from giving me the walk around. I would say the run around, but you're not running. Marla, come on over. There you go, you're dead. And... Big Mikey, come on over. Where's the crawler at? Because I can't hear him. Well, I can hear him, but... There you are. Yeah, while well, I'm taking out this crawler YouTube, I'm going to end this episode here, and thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, and take care.